Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to open this bad boy. Look, look how thick it is. It feels like there's a lot of stuff in here. And um, I actually have no idea what's in here. Um, maybe I forgot something. I, I just, I don't know. Um, it comes from Sweden, I assume, right? Um, I really like these stamps. They're dogs. I'm actually more of a cat person, but I'm, I don't know if you have to be, people say you have to be a cat or a dog person, but I also like dogs, so I don't know. Maybe something's wrong with me genetically, but look, this is really funny. Where do people get these stamps? If you're watching this and you're the person who sent this to me, let me know where can you find these stamps? It's hilarious. All the different stampage. Can you say that? I know you can say postage. Can you say stampage? Anyway, opening it up. No idea what I'm gonna, gonna find. Oh, now I remember what this is. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Okay, so this is sent to me by uh, Frederick from Sweden, uh, who's just, it shows how great of a community old school magic is. Like, uh, people think it's all about the finance or showing off cards. It's, for most of us, it's not like that. It's just a fun community to just be nostalgic and to share your love for the game. And we also like the lore. A lot of us enjoy it. And I think it was Brian Manalakis who posted, I could be wrong, by the way, but I think it's really hard to find old posts back on Facebook, by the way. I'm really bad at that. But anyway, he posted somewhere. I want to read this old novel. I think it was The Brothers War that he was talking about, but I just don't want to pay like 50 bucks or whatever. I just don't want to buy it. You all have to book and somebody just send it over to me and I can send it back. And I kind of resulted into a lot of comments, including my comment where I said, this is a great idea. We can like start like a little book club. I think it was somebody else who mentioned that, by the way, it wasn't me, but I just said, this is a great idea. And somebody else mentioned like, um, you know, you can just put your names um, on the inside of the book after you read it, and then you can send it to another old school player. And then there was Frederick from Sweden, um, who actually sent this to me and who contacted me and said, you know what, I can, I can send it to you. We've been doing this with a bunch of friends. I can send you the book. So here we see the book. I'm just gonna open it here. And he said, you know, I can send it to you and you can read it. And then you can send it to another old school player. So we've got the novel here. And there's actually more. The read, read me text. Okay, okay, I'm gonna read it. <laughs> this book. <laughs> oh, look at it. This is the condition that you want these books to be in. They're old, you know. They they're red. They're like. This is this is what you want to see. I'm really looking forward to actually to just read this again and read this copy. Really looking forward to it. Definitely going to do that. So here it says, read me text. Okay, so we've got to open it up. What is in here? Oh, man, you got to love this stuff. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I don't want to show the address. Uh, Hello, friend. You have received a copy of The Brothers War that is on a journey. Please enjoy reading it. Take one of that of the included mite stones or weak stones as a souvenir and pass it along. Or if you took the last mite stone weak, st uh, weak stone in the package, please send it to the origin address at the bottom of this letter. Maybe check me first to double check if the address is still current. Before you pass the book along, please sign and print your name on the inside of the front cover of the book, along with the city, town, state, province and country where you read it. Also, please be sure to include this letter along with the book plus the remaining Mightstone Weak Stones when you send it to the next person. Twelve total Mightstones Weak Stones were originally included with this book, with the goal of the book completing its journey within one year. So please try to finish reading in a month or less if you can. Well, I've got I've got good news for you, Frederick. We're in a lockdown, so um, yeah, that should definitely work. To find the next person to send it to, might I suggest posting that you are ready to pass it on in the Old School Magic for Life Facebook group, which is where the idea for doing this was originally posted by, oh, here we go, Brian Manalakis, or in the Old School Discord. Please feel free to choose the next person however you like, as long as you think they would appreciate its old schoolness. In case you're curious, 
The stamps on the Mightstone Weakstones were from the Brothers of War themed event held in Seattle in June of 2019. These cards were left over from the event and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to put them into the world. In case you're curious, the details of the event can be found on Emerald City Trolls website. And the event was also discussed on episode 70 of All Things Considered. I really enjoyed this book and hope you will too. Cheers and may your artifacts never be blasted. Sean Sullivan. Wow, Sean, what a cool letter. I did not know this story. So happy you added this letter here to explain that. Um, I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add the link. I'm going to check out if I can add a link to the episode of Brian in the comments below. So if you're interested in that stuff, um, I can just say if you're not familiar with All Things Considered, it's a great podcast about old school magic. So definitely worth listening if you're into that. And I guess you're into that if you're here on my channel um, listening to this nonsense, <laughs> but very cool old school nonsense. But, you know, um, so I'll just I'll put all the links down there and let's just have a look in the envelope. Maybe am I allowed to add something to the envelope? I think I'm going to add a little something, but we'll see. OK, so first we're going to look at these, the might stone and a weak stone. Wow. That's so cool. I just love these little like themes and this old the old school community is just so creative. It's ridiculous. So here we've got the weak stone, right? Four to cast and all attacking creatures lose minus one minus oh. And then we've got the nice the traveling brothers war, the brothers war showdown. Wow, I'm really cool. So here we go, and also there is a might stone. Really nice. All creatures plus one plus O. Oh. Yeah, so here we've got the other. So let's just count. Oh my, there's only one. There's one weak stone. Shouldn't you take both? Or am I just being greedy? Should you choose between? Let me let's let's go back to the letter. I want to make sure I, I follow the rules here. Um let's have a look. So print your name. Mm. In case you're curious, they're from the Brothers of War. Oh yeah, before you pass the book along, please sign and print your name on the inside of the front of the book. Also, be sure to include this letter along with the book plus the remote, remaining Might Stones and Weak Stones. Okay, please enjoy reading and take one of the included. Oh yeah, okay, so one of them. Okay, okay, you see? That's just being tipped, that's just Dutch. If something is free, we just wanna take, even if we don't need it, we just wanna take more. So gonna take one of them, so or the last weak stone or the last might stone. Let me know in the comments below which one you think I should pick and why. I guess I just gotta take one on the gut feeling. I am building a kobolds deck, so then might stone would actually be pretty nice and it would be pretty cool to play this. Um, wow. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 give it some time. I'll think about it. Let's first take a closer look at this book. So this is the Brothers War. This is book one. Um, yeah, in pristine condition, obviously. That's so sweet. I'm so gonna gonna take this outside as well to read and stuff. This needs to see a little bit of Amsterdam before I pass it along, right? Even though everything's closed and we're in lockdown. Look at everybody who's read it so far. So it's been yeah, Sean Sullivan. So he was the author of the letter. Um, he's the first one that read it. Then we've got Fena. Oh, of course, this must be <laughs> Brian Manalakis, right? Or am I, oh, Jenna Manalakis, August 2019. Oh, okay. Fena, Jenna, and then we've got Brian Manalakis here, all in August. You've been reading a lot. Have you been reading it to each other by any chance? Then we've got Jason Swartz. Okay, I know Jason Swartz, yeah, October 2019. And then, yeah, so here we've got, then it starts traveling through Sweden. Look at it. So we've got Matthias, so Slanvan. I know Slanvan. Wow, this book has been written by, has been read by some, uh, some well-known people in the old school community. And then we've got the Enforcer. And then probably Frederick, that's the person that actually sent it to me. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Um, I'm definitely going to send it along to some more Dutch people, I guess, before it, uh, it goes anywhere else. I first have to just read it. 
Wow. You know what? Let's just let's read this first page together. Why not? Urza looked out over the veil and shook his head. He thought of Lauren's notes, and he thought of Harbin. The boy had seen what the natives of this land could do, and had come to believe there were more powerful forces than just artifice and machinery. Perhaps he was right, but it was too late for that. Perhaps it was always too late, thought Urza. There was movement to Urza's right, and he, th he turned, expecting to see Taunus stepping out of the gathering smoke. Instead, it was another figure, this one muscular and young, and dressed in the robes of the desert. Hello, brother, said Mishra. What shall we do with the drunkard? Say hello. What shall we do with the drunkard? Say hello. What shall we do with the drunkard? Say hello. What shall we do with the drunkard? Say hello. Ik het was fikkertjes somber gezien.